March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Colon cancer is now the leading cause of cancer deaths in men under 50, and it ranks as the leading cause for women under 50. Breast cancer remains number one. Now, the fact that more young people are being diagnosed with it is cause for concern. A decade ago, most colon cancer patients were over 65. Taylor Cotoni asked the experts why. I'll have days where every patient that I'm seeing is younger than me, and that is uh, shocking. Seeing more and more people in their 30s and 40s with advanced stage colon cancer is definitely not the norm for CU and Schutz oncologist Wells Messersmith. I'm used to seeing 60-year-olds and 70-year-olds and 80-year-olds with, with cancer. Today, one in 10 people diagnosed with colon cancer are under 50 years old. New studies predict that of all cancers, colon cancer will take the most lives of people under age 50 by 2030. That's just six years away. We think obesity has something to do with it. Our diets, highly processed food, red meats and things, um, lack of exercise and changes in, in microbiome. Studies suggest that lack of access to health care and a lack of awareness in young patients and their doctors about the symptoms of colon and rectal cancer are also to blame. People are being diagnosed at later stages because they think, oh, you know, I, I just have a little hemorrhoid or something and my abdominal pain is just from uh, what I'm eating and I'm just not going to worry about it right now. Colorectal cancer is preventable with screening, yet more than 20 million Americans who are eligible for the colonoscopy have not been screened. If you don't like the idea of a colonoscopy, ask your doctor about some of the stool tests that can be done, which are non-invasive. Most importantly, colorectal cancer, if detected early, is completely um, curable. I'm Taylor Gatoni reporting.